go to our political panel and commentators now. Trump supporter Jeffrey Lord is with us. Also, Ryan Liza, Washington correspondent for The New Yorker. Uh, Jeffrey, let me begin with you. The early reaction to Tillerson as a possible Secretary of State pick has not been the most supportive. I mean, you've seen it. Uh, and it's not just from Democrats. It's from Republicans, too. This morning, you had Senator Marco Rubio of Florida tweeting this. Being a friend of Vladimir Putin is not an attribute I'm hoping for from a Secretary of State. If Tillerson is the pick, Walk us through what you think this confirmation process is going to look like, because you've already got two of 52 Republican senators saying, not so sure. Actually, Poppy, there was a book and a movie about this in the late 50s and early 60s. It was called Advise and Consent, and it was about the nomination of somebody for Secretary of State by a presumably liberal president who nominated an Adlai Stevenson type in the day to be Secretary of State, and there was huge controversy over it. These things happen, and I, and I have to tell you, Poppy, as somebody who worked in Washington a long time, worked in the White House and on Capitol Hill, Washington has a, a this is something of a tribal ritual. They pick somebody out there, they put them under the glare, which is fine. I mean, all these nominees for anything should answer questions. That's fine. But there's a sort of, you know, burn the witch at the stake aspect of this. And this, mm -hmm. this smacks uh, just a little bit of what that might be here. And I would just suggest respectfully so to these senators, if they're, if they're going to, if they're going to, sure, sure. If, if they want to question his relationship with Vladimir Putin and Russians and Russian influence, yes. But again, I would say broaden the investigation. Let's get into non-citizens voting in this country. Let's see what, what, I mean, you don't have to be a Russian to hack. I mean, there could be a hacking into the American electoral system from other other sources okay. right okay. here in this country. And that is that. what our that is what our intelligence agencies, the best of the best, have been doing, and the CIA, concluding, and others as you know, far back as as, as October, the that, FBI that Russia I mean, did I, hack I listen, in, into this. But Jeffrey, I, I can't get to, into a I, debate over that right now. I hear your point. Right. I'm telling you what our reporting is, Ryan. To you on this issue of the CIA's reporting that Russia's meddled in the election. Um, when you look at the Trump team and how they're responding, we heard from the, the president-elect just there. Uh, and, and also now, let's hear from Reince Priebus, his incoming chief of staff. The, the MO seems to be, it's not true, it's not true, it's not true. Listen. Does the president-elect believe that Russia was trying to muddy up and get involved in the election in 2016? Number one, you don't know it, I don't know it, and there's been no conclusive or specific report to say otherwise. So that's the first thing. The second thing I would tell you is that you don't have any proof that the outcome of the election was changed. Forget about who did the hacking. Do you want to know? Even if someone did the hacking. Does, it, no, you don't President have any. Tell me how you know, know that. Does he want to what know? Specific, of Does course he, we want to know. So there's going to be an investigation? Want he wants an investigation on Capitol Hill? Of course. I, I, uh, listen, I don't know what investigations he wants. That was, there was a much longer, Ryan, as you know, back and forth yeah. between the two of them this morning on Meet the Press. But he's saying, what's your source? What's your evidence? Talking about intelligence officials. At the same time, the president-elect in that interview on Fox this weekend said, well, I actually blame the Democrats. But he didn't put a source out for that. Yeah, and look, Reince is right. There's some ambiguity about what happened mm -hmm. here. And in October, the intelligence agencies did put out a statement um, that was general about Russian uh, hacking in the election. What was new this week is apparently they told some members of Congress that the intention of that hacking, which they had never been firm on, was in fact to support Trump's election. That's a pretty serious allegation. That's a big deal. And look, I understand why President-elect Trump is concerned about this, because it affects his mandate. It will affect um, his legitimacy in some sense if it's proven that the Russian government uh, instituted a massive propaganda campaign to help elect him. So the only this issue is way too important to have anonymous uh, sourced uh, commentary from briefers going to the Hill and briefing members of Congress, this, I mean, to me, it screams out for a comprehensive investigation, get well, to the bottom of it, and put it behind us. Look, he's going to be the president no matter what. There's not, it's not like there's a case for someone else as president. Whatever problems there were in the election, he's the president-elect. But we need to know as a country whether one of our major adversaries uh, 
hacked our system mm -hmm. and, 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 and propagated a, a propaganda campaign, whether it helped him or someone else. It's much bigger than Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. We need to, and, and so I think Reince is right. We don't have all the information, and going forward, we need to have it. So that is being called for a deeper investigation. As you both know, we have this bipartisan group of senators, Chuck Schumer, Jack Reed, John McCain, Lindsey Graham, all calling for this, releasing a joint statement that reads, in part, we have, we have an obligation to inform the public about recent cyber attacks that have cut to the heart of our free society. Democrats and Republicans must work together and across the jurisdictional lines of the Congress to examine these recent incidents. Um, Jeffrey Lord, your, your reaction to that and, and what you would like to hear from the president-elect about that, given that this is, you know, prominent Democrats and Republicans calling on this together. Do you want to hear more supportive words from the president-elect about such I an investigation? Want to, I, I want them to come up with the evidence. If they've got evidence, let's produce it. I mean, Chairman well, Priebus was saying, on the... They're saying, but they're saying, let's dig in. We need to dig in more on this. Okay. I guess, do you well, then, want to hear then, the president-elect yeah, come and say, I, you guys are right, go for it? I would hope the president-elect then would say to them, okay, dig in. Because the other week he talked about fraud and voting with, with uh, uh, illegal immigrants voting, non-citizens voting. Uh, this is all part and parcel of the same thing. At the end of the day, it doesn't make any difference whether it's a Russian hack or a non-citizen of the United States actually physically voting. You are, you are influencing the U.S. election system. And either way... If, if we're going to have an investigation, do it. Let's get it on. Let's really dig into it. Ryan, uh, yeah. in, in, go ahead. No, I was just going to say, look, from what I've seen, there's no evidence of widespread voter fraud. Uh, we do have the intelligence community saying publicly that the Russians had an intelligence operation against Not our country. Not by name, though, Brian. So, but, who, but fine, if well, there's going to be an investigation into right. uh, voter fraud, do it. But this issue is far too important to get bogged down in defensive politics because you think it's mm -hmm. going to damage Donald Trump's reputation. This is bigger than him. It's, it's, this is our electoral system, Jeffrey. And I, I know there's a, I you know, an instinct to That's defend your guy. No but it. Jeffrey, as, as an American, you and every Republican and every Trump defender, every Democrat should want to get to the bottom of Vladimir Putin interfering in our, in our election. If Jill Stein had it. been elected, we if should... If you're an illegal immigrant voting, yeah. you shouldn't be. You are interfering with our yeah. electoral system. I agree with you. You really think that's the same thing, Jeffrey? Do you really think Vladimir well, Putin... Well, of course it is. Really? You think Vla of course a, it a is. propaganda campaign from a foreign adversary is the same as a few illegal immigrants voting in an election if you are influencing if you are influencing the election by showing up when to vote when you have no right to vote yes yeah. you are doing exactly the same right. thing that's that's the same asking as you is about power? the magnitude of the threat that's what he's asking you about he says are magnitude. you are you I mean, saying that they're equivalent Jeffrey, you're just throwing I, out I peripheral issues. This is, this is, this is our country, Jeffrey. Ryan, you are we have a foreign to the adversary. Democratic party here, I guess. I, I don't know. No, or Jeffrey, liberals, I'm not. I'm not, I'm, I'm not on here defending either party. I'm defending American democracy, Jeffrey, because we have a Me foreign too. power that our intelligence agencies are credibly telling us interfere in our election. And every Trump supporter I see on TV just gets their back up and gets defensive and decides I'm this is an attack on Trump. It's not an attack on Trump. It's an attack country. on American democracy. Foreign citizens voting in this country is an attack on American democracy, right. just Where's like the evidence Russia. Of that, Jeffrey? Russia Where's the, where is the evidence of that, that that is an important issue? Tell me the evidence. The U.S. Government that's... Accountability Office reported back in 2005 that there was evidence right. of this. It's 2016, Jeffrey. The issue before us yeah, is well, Russian right. interference uh, in our so election, not a 2005 report. Guys, I have to get Why a break, and you'll both be back with me. Jeffrey Ryan, it's important. <laughs> we'll keep debating. i got to get a break, and you'll be right back. Thank you very much. Coming up.